David said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom then shall I be afraid? Though a host should encamp against me, they stumbled and fell. I want you to go with me to the, y'all keep holding up Sam and Linda in your prayer too. Deacon, Deacon Harry Evans, amen. Just, just keep holding up each other. I want you to go with me to the book of First Kings. Book of First Kings, the 19th chapter. First Kings, the 19th chapter. And I want to look at the first 18 verses. <clears throat> and Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done and with all how he had slain all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger <clears throat> unto Elijah saying, so let the gods do to me and more also if I make not thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. And when he saw that, he arose and went for his life and came to Beersheba, which belongeth to Judah, and left his servant there. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down on a juniper tree. And he requested for himself that he might die and said, for it is enough. Now, O oh Lord, take away my life, for I am not better than my father's. And as he lay and slept under the juniper tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, unto him, Arise and eat. And he looked and behold, there was a cake bacon on the coals and a cruise of water at his head. And he did eat and drink and laid him down again. And the angel of the Lord came again the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat because the journey is too great for thee. And he arose and did eat and drink and went in the strength of that meat forty days and forty nights unto Horeb, the mount of God. And he came thither unto a cave and lodged there. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him and he said unto him, what doest thou here, Elijah? He said, I've been very jealous for the Lord, God of hosts, for the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thy altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword. I, even I only am left, and they seek my life to take it away. And he said, Go forth and stand upon the mountain before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by. And a great and strong wind rent the mountains and break the pieces, the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was, in the wind, was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. <clears throat> and after the earthquake, a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, still small voice, and it was so. When Elijah heard it, that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entering in of the cave, and behold, there came a voice unto him and said, What doest thou here, Elijah? What doest thou here, Elijah? Amen. And when he said, I have been jealous 
from the Lord, God of hosts, because the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altar, slain thy prophets with the sword. I, even I, only am left, and they seek my life to take it away. And the Lord said unto him, Go, return on the way to the wilderness of Damascus, when thou comest of not Hazael to be the king of Syria. And Jehu, the son of Nimshi, shalt thou anoint to be king of Israel. And Elisha, the son of Shaphat, of Abel, Melolah, shalt thou anoint to be prophet. And it shall come to pass that him that escaped the sword of Hazel shall Jehu slay. slay. And him that escaped from the sword of Jehu shall Elisha slay. Yet I have left me 7,000 in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which has not kissed. Now that was a little detail there, but I, 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 we've been preaching. Uh, uh, this is the fifth message, I think it is, <clears throat> uh, dealing with Elijah. I didn't intend to go to this one today. I'm trying to do something on the Holy Spirit, but the Lord sent me back here. Amen. Amen. And uh, we, 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 we saw two of them in chapter 17. Uh, then we went in 18, and, 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 and we worked there, and, 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 and here we are now at 19. Now, now I, I want to use a subject here today. Uh, uh, why are you in the cave? Why are you, do, why are you in the cave? Yeah, how, 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 and then I want to ask another question. How did you get there? And, 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 and more importantly, uh, uh, how, how are you, how, how are you going to get out? Amen? Amen? Uh, how, why are you in a cave? Amen? Well, you say, well, none of us are cave people. Well, the, 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 it's not the cave. It's the mentality that got you in the ta cave. And it's the mentality that is keeping you in the cave. And it may be not, your cave may be your house. Your cave may be even your car. Your cave may be your job. Your cave can be anywhere, but it wasn't where he was. It, it was why he was there and what he was doing there and the mentality that he had there. Now, now we remember this is this is Elijah, y'all. This, this is this is a, this is a strong, powerful man. Amen. This is a guy who told the king, uh, walked into him, looked look at him. The king thought he was must have been crazy or something. You know, I told you Ahab had married the Phoenician woman, the black woman Jezebel, and he had let her make him turn away from uh, his God, Jehovah, uh, to to her God, Baal. And not only her God, but her daddy's God, uh, Asherah. <clears throat> and we, we know that uh, Elijah comes in and tells him, uh, ain't gonna rain till I say so. And it was because of the sin that had come on the nation. Now, let, me see, let, let me say, righteousness, the Bible says, exalts a nation. Amen? And, and I, I keep reminding you of this because I just got a few people who've been with me all 53 of these years I've been preaching, and you know, I've been saying it. I like to keep reminding folks who are seeing what's happening now in America. I've been saying for 50, 53 years, when we're dealing with prophecy messages and so many things that you see people laugh at me well, when we say what's going to happen, you know, like Germany becoming one again and the wall falling, because the Bible shows Germany marching with Russia on an Israel that wasn't there for 2,500 uh, years. And, 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 and the Bible shows uh, uh, China crossing a uh, 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 dried up Euphrates River coming from the east, marching on an Israel that didn't exist, with a Russia from the north marching on the Israel that didn't exist, and the United States of Europe marching. And so all those things we kept saying was going to happen, and that was the uh, common market. It was going to come back just like it left. You said, y'all saw it did. Amen. Now, I'm not saying this bragging on Reverend Hill. I'm saying this bragging on God, the God who told the men to write the Bible. Amen. No nation in his history ever ceased to exist and reexisted, but Israel did do it. Uh, 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 Isaiah said, uh, uh, a nation shall give birth in one day. Uh, the first part of May, Israel did exist in 1948, 
May the 14th bam, they exist, they are now a nation, and suddenly all these prophecies that couldn't, couldn't happen because there was no Israel, suddenly they can happen. Amen? Amen? And then we kept saying that, that Turkey uh, was not going to be our friend. We kept saying that, you see, and we're seeing where Turkey is because the Bible, the Bible is showing all of this. Here's the thing about it. The Bible shows that any nation that is supposed to be under God that begins to, uh, uh, I got stuff out here to preach from, but I, I haven't got here yet. I don't know when I'll get here today. Y'all know how that is. Uh, uh, any nation that <clears throat> under God and begin to pull back from God and begin to go against God and, and drift into sin, God takes his hands off of that nation. So you all know, I've said for years, I said, I don't know what's going to do it. But I say the Bible, all these nations I'm saying the Bible is showing to be in effect in the last days, I say it does not show America in power. Amen? We said that for years. I remember when Bill Clinton was the president and the economy was sailing, I kept telling people, I said, y'all get out of debt. I said, so because something's going to happen that's going to mess up this economy and we're going to be struggling. Amen? I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a few of y'all been with me all this time. We've been saying, the preacher would laugh at me. He was always talking about perilous time coming. Now they didn't say it to my face. They said it behind my back. Because I let the dumbest know to the face, uh, or I'm preaching the Bible that y'all are supposed to be preaching. That's why I keep preaching about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Amen? And, 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 and the baptism. Because we ain't heard of the baptism. We thought the baptism was what was in Corinthians 12, 13. Amen? When he baptized us into the body. And that is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That's what he did. That's how we got saved. He baptized us into the body. But you know why? You don't see all the churches we saw the miracles in, all, all of them. You don't remember most of them was Baptist? The people who came all the way from Ithaca, New York, because they saw so many miracles in a bus rolls, and was talking about all the miracles, was a Baptist church. Why? Because we don't preach the baptism uh, in the Holy Ghost. We say there is not a third baptism. When the Bible clearly shows there is. Amen? You know, you know what I mean? Jesus told him at Jerusalem in, 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 in uh, the last chapter of, of, of uh, uh, Luke. You know, he said, he told him to wait. Amen? He told him, he, he said, he said, he said y'all got to wait now. Amen? Amen? Because something else is coming. You don't have the power yet. You have, you have the, you're in, the, you, you are my people. You, you're in the, you're in, you in me. Amen? But you have not had the spirit to come upon you. Amen? Amen, somebody? And, 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 and now that we've been preaching it about the difference in the spirit in and the spirit upon, all over the Bible you see. You don't have the, you, you, you have, you're saved, but you don't have the power. But he said you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost come upon you. Jesus was, had the spirit in him when he was born. Amen? Because the spirit was his daddy. Amen? But when he got ready to minister, he needed power. Amen. And so when he got in the water to be baptized, the Holy Spirit came upon him, amen, like a dove, amen, to give him the power to minister. And then Jesus said, a little further, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me, amen, to do all these things. And there's no power. That's why revivals in Baptist churches don't matter get saved. That's why I quit bringing guys and spend all that money to come in here and, get, and have folks say we had a good time. How you have a good time if everybody gets saved and anybody gets healed? Amen. Oh, yeah. but, but we don't believe in it. Amen. And I taught it for years until I saw it right there in the Bible. Amen. It's everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Amen. Are, are you hearing me? And, and so this is the same thing happening with Elijah. Elijah, uh, uh, he sees his people have, have fallen away from the Lord. Because this woman come in talking some jive stuff that sounded good. Amen. But it was none of the Lord. And so we saw what happened. Amen. He shut up heaven. And so I can't, I can't review because I got to hit a little bit of, this, of, of what I got here. We, we, we've seen. He went down to Cherith. God let, let, sent from Cherith, you know, uh, on through the wilderness. Oh, here's this, way, this woman in Zarephath. She was not even a Jew. God let them know even in the Old Testament, I'm God for everybody. You my folk, but when you turn your back on me, I got some more folk I'll go over here and bless. And that's what God is doing with America. Amen. The America whose babies are soften. 
Amen. God letting Europe and other nations send us baby food because the great and powerful America don't have baby food. We can't feed our babies. Mighty America can't feed their babies, y'all. I can't stay there. I wish I could stay there. There's a message there. There's a whole lot of stuff we can't do because we left, we, we left God. Amen? Amen? We got, we got political parties that's, that, 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 that's, that's doing so much stuff now because they have power. Amen? See, we don't have power. God gives power and God take power. Ahab thought he had power. Amen? 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 And this woman here, amen, sent a message to, to the prophet now, we just got through seeing him bring down fire. Amen? Bring down fire and bless. Amen? Kill 450 prophets of Baal. Amen? Bring down fire and then, and, and then go and after all this time, amen, say, now, I'm going to go pray and I'm going to start the rain back. And then, then you, you, you see just before we get to where we are, Amen. After we, we preached the last time we were bringing down the fire and the blessing, we can't stay there. Amen. He, he goes now after that, and he goes into, into prayer. Amen. Now, you, you know, James said he was a man of like passions as we were. Y'all remember I, I, I read that to you? Amen. James 5 and 7. Amen. He wasn't not, not a superman. He was like us. That's why he's in the cave. He did all these mighty things, but a lot of times when you can do mighty things for God, but after a while, something can come and happen, and you don't realize it, and all of a sudden you don't realize that life will always be just, just what you want. If you don't know how to deal with that because you know how to pray, amen, that was the power of Elijah. He knew how to pray, amen, and he knew how to listen to God and follow God's will, amen. And so after, after the message week before last, I didn't preach last week, as you know, week before last, when he brought the fire out of heaven and they killed the prophets, amen, Amen. Then God said, "Now bring on the rain." Amen. And we know He went to we went into prayer, right at, right in the chapel, right before we get to where we are. He went into prayer and he went down with his head. I can't get down there for y'all. Put his head between his knees. Amen. 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 That's what you call birthing prayer. There is a prayer that births something. Amen. Amen. Now I know about prayer that births something. Y'all know when we started out, it was twenty something of us. Amen. We birthed a thousand kids getting saved on the buses. We birthed ten buses. We birthed a big old daycare center with a whole full staff. You know what I mean? We birthed a bus business instead of and a bus ministry. And the business brought thousands of dollars every month that we gave to the church. We know you you can pray that there's something about praying birthing something now. Amen. But just because you pray and birth something, I'm a witness. Amen. Amen. We don't have the two thousand. Then we, we come over here for the, co the college ministry, have almost a thousand nine hundred and eighty something to co to get to come and be a part of it. Sit preachers and soul winners all over America. Amen. 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 But but here we are, just a few of us now. Amen. You when you birth something and it keeps getting bigger and bigger, you gotta watch it. Amen. When it may turn on you and you into something small. And it ain't because there's nothing wrong with you. Amen. It's, it's because you're in a real world. Amen. Amen. And, and life is not always moving up where you keep birthing big. Amen. Amen. You can birth little. Amen. And then there are times when God just wants you to stop birthing anything and, and just get you some rest. Amen. Are y'all hearing me today? Are you hearing me there? So, so we know how, how he birthed the rain. He prayed up on the blessing, amen? So much so that he told his servant, say, I want you to go up there and look and see, don't you, don't you see a cloud? And the servant said, ain't nothing up there. He said, go again. He told him seven times. Seven is God's completion number, as you know. He said, go seven times. And, and he birthed up a storm, amen? See, sometimes, amen, when it look like ain't nothing coming, Amen. You keep on believing and trusting God and keep on praying to God. And what are you doing, Freedom? You'll burst up a storm. Amen. We just broke ground for the new uh, building that, 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 that we're getting ready to have. Amen. Uh, for enjoy. Amen. Amen. It, we were in a real place. Now, we, 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 we're getting ready to birth a big multi uh, complex. Amen. That's going to touch the whole west side. Amen. Because it takes time sometimes to burst up a storm. Amen? And, and, and when, that, when, when that guy first saw a little cloud, he went and told Ahab, he said, he said, you better get moving, say, because it's getting ready to storm. Amen? He said, it's getting ready to storm. Amen? And he said, he said, get your chariot going. And he was so full 
of the anointing that he ran ahead of Ahab, amen, down there was Jezreel, amen. I mean, he was so full of it, amen, God gave him the power to outrun a chariot. But now we find him in a cave. He's done all this. And she said, tell that sucker. This is a black woman now, Jezebel. She's a Phoenician now. And then she says, tell him before this time tomorrow, he's going to get the same thing he did to my prophets. He said, if, if he don't get it, I, 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 I declare it, 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 it can come on me. Instead of him saying, okay, just like I told uh, uh, your husband, that we were gonna have, a, we were gonna meet. I told y'all it was like the gunfight at the OK Corral. He told us that we're gonna meet on the mount tomorrow. All right. Tell them to meet me there, all 450 of them. And, and say them, tell them other 400 from Asheville. Tell your daddy, tell your daddy stuff, plan the dozen. Tell your daddy to send his that too. He said, we're gonna settle this thing. Amen. Amen. He said, you know, you, he, he's the fire god, the, 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 the god of fertilization. He said, we're gonna see how much, how much he can do tomorrow. Y'all know what he did, what happened? They prayed all day. All day, did all kinds of stuff, cutting themselves all kinds. And he started kidding, where y'all was going? Is he asleep? Maybe he left and went somewhere else. He ain't heard y'all yet. And, and then over in the, toward, toward his praying time. See, he had a regular praying time. Y'all remember? He prayed a short prayer. See, it don't take a big old long prayer to get God to do that. Amen. Some, some, I've heard folk in church, some folk, I know them. I remember one person, they, they haven't been here in years, so you don't know what I'm talking about. I remember one lady said, ooh, I, if I want to get a prayer through, I, I go to so-and-so, because I know they can get a prayer through. Well, I knew they was as, as hellacious as could be. Amen. But they knew how to sound good. They said, you know, they impressed folk with sound. Amen. Amen, somebody? And then prayer got through the ceiling there. And then let's go to God. Amen. Amen, somebody? It, but, but, and, and, and here with Elijah, amen. It didn't take him a long time. He just said, he, he told him, asked the Lord what he wanted, and bam, it came. But now, he's in a cave, y'all. He's in a cave. He's in a cave, and, 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 and he's depressed. All right? And, and the, Lord, the Lord comes to him. The Lord comes to him. I, I want to keep him reminding him. He's a man of light passions, just like we are. Amen? And the Lord comes and say, hey, he said, what you doing in there, man? The Lord that talking to him now. What, you do, what, what, what are you doing in the cave? Amen? And, and, and the Lord is saying the same thing to some of us right today. Amen. What are you doing in the cave? Amen. What are you doing down? You know? It, it, it's, like, it's, like, it's like sickness. You know? You, you get sick, then, then, you, then you say, this is it. Especially when you get older. You know? Uh, you, and you say, this is it. What can we do? And then we start talking about the sickness all the time. And so we're telling, that we, we're telling, we're telling, we're telling ourselves and, we, and we're telling everybody about what the devil has done. Amen? And, 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 and we just keep talking about it and not talking to it. And the Bible says, speak to the mountain and tell the mountain. <laughs> when I went down on the elevator, Bobby, for them to be unclogging my heart and, and doing all that stuff, I was speaking to the mountain. I, I, wasn't I hearing me? Yeah, Tammy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I said, I, I called Kevin. I said, tell my sense. I said, no, no. So I just kept, I kept speaking. To, even now, you know, I didn't know y'all. Listen, I didn't know. You know, I told you all that my heart was pumping at 25%. So I'm lifting them weights and doing all the other stuff, you know. I got a whole bunch of stuff. We went and bought some more stuff to, to go with what I got. And, and I, I'm, at, I'm at 40%. Well, I, I'm talking to uh, my, my doctor, Stephanie, Peggy's daughter, and the Maureen Hubbard, too, both of them. I said, it's at 40. I said, I expect when I go back to them the next time, it'll be about 65. They both say, that's impossible. Well, see, I didn't know that. I didn't know that was impossible. They say it's a miracle that's at the forest. No, it ain't a star. Amen? Amen. I can't, I can't, y'all see how tired I was when I first came back? Yeah, I couldn't do much at, 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 at 25. I get, got to get it up to 40. Yeah. Well, Jesus redeemed us from the curse of the law. That's what we're celebrating. 
I told y'all I don't know why I was gonna do this. That's what we're celebrating. The, the blood and the body. Once again, we told y'all, you will never hear the body preached for the Lord's Supper. Never hear the body. Why? Because you gotta get into healing. Amen? And mainline churches don't get into healing. Amen? Because they think God, oh well, I mean, he did it by accident. You expect healing. He redeemed you from the curse of the law, being made a curse for you, therefore expect it. Well, I, 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 you don't know what I got. I don't care what you got. I know what God took. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 Christ redeemed you from the curse of the law. The curse of the law is sin, and sin brought on sickness and death. He redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, that the blessings of Abraham might be ours. When he said, it is finished, he was through. Surely he borne our sickness and carried our pain with his stripes. We were healed. So if we are healed, why do we keep confessing what the enemy threw on us? The enemy has been defeated by the church. Amen? The tail does not suppose the way of the dog. The dog's supposed to wag the tail. So why is the, the tail, the devil, who is defeated, wagging the dog who defeated him? Amen? We should be telling the devil, amen, to let go. Whosoever will say to this mountain be there will be cast into the sea. Doubt not in your heart. Believe the words you say will come to pass. You'll have what you say. So when we keep saying what we are feeling, we're crediting the enemy and all he, all folk are here is what he got, what he has. When we start telling the devil what God say about what we have, what we have, amen, will start leaving us. I didn't mean to go here, y'all. Amen. Now, I'm in the shallow water now. If I had time, I'd go to the deep water. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. You see, you see, when, 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 when Christ redeemed us from the curse, Amen. The symbolism of it was in the Old Testament when, the, when, when they put the blood over the, the doorposts and the lepers, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. And, 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 and the deaf angel had to jump over it. But then the Bible said they went 40 years in the wilderness and none were sick. Amen. The blood saved them, but the body healed them. They put the blood to keep the enemy from killing them. Then they ate the lamb, and what they ate kept them away from being sick, so they walked 40 years in the wilderness. The body represents Christ. He took the sickness. Yeah, he took the sickness. You say, well, well, well why do I have it? Because you've got an enemy out there, amen, amen that's going to keep trying to give it to you. Amen. And he just might give it to you, but then you've got to tell him, I refuse to keep it. Amen. It ain't mine, it's yours. I refuse to take it. I refuse to keep it. Amen. The blessings of Abraham. The blessings of Abraham. Abraham, Abraham had a baby when he was 100. I don't know what I can. I don't know what I can tell y'all. Y'all get up on that, but you never know. Amen. 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 When I was eighty-five, my testosterone is <laughs> it's way up there. Now you get your folk, folk, You know you talk that in church. They get all like this here. You all want to know how. That's why I knew what I wasn't nothing stopped up. <laughs> Amen. I told you it wasn't nothing stopped up. I know how can it be stopped up when you got that kind of testosterone? That's what does it. Amen. 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 And when you start saying what the doctors tell you, they, they, gave, me, they gave me Lipitor. I told them, I don't want no Lipitor. I said, you made my liver. Uh-huh. I said, no. I said, give me my numbers. I had them fax me my numbers the other day. They got this thing where you go to the hospital now that you, you got to go and you go in your portal. I told her, I said, listen, I'm older, I don't do portal. I told her, I got a fax machine. That's what I told his nurse the other day. I got a fax machine, y'all got one? Well, yeah, I said, fax me my numbers. Cause she said, everything look good. I said, fine, fax them to me, let me look at the numbers, let me see if it look good. 
Hey, hey, are y'all hearing me today? I don't know why God sent me over this way. Amen? And, and, and you'll sit there and you'll feel, you'll feel frustrated. You know, and y'all remember I shared with y'all when I got a super uh, uh, a report for my physical in August. I shared with y'all then when I, when I was kind of bragging on the numbers and, and saying all that. And then for some reason I told y'all, but I got aches and I got aches. I got little things that remind me I'm getting older. There are things that, that remind you you're getting older. Amen? And, and, and because I said, if I keep doing this, you start saying, well, he can't identify with us because ain't nothing wrong. You remember I shared that with y'all? And then two, weeks, two months later, I had that cane. I didn't stay on it, though. I was coming up this step like this. But I, I don't come up with it like that now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you, what you got to do, you just, can't, you just can't just give in to the devil. You can't give in to the devil. And, you, and you're not doing it because Reverend Hill said it. You're doing it because the Bible said it. And you'll find yourself in a cave. When self turn. Amen? And you all sudden, you'll find you're not Reverend Superman. Amen? Say, I'm wearing these sport coaches up. Y'all don't call my suits too a little. Amen? So I, 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 it bothered the heck out of me. I lost all that. I said, shoot, I can build one of God. Amen? I don't have to get that. I, I, I can be strong right here. Amen? And I'm going to pump anyhow. I'm sharing with y'all today. Amen? You, you know, life going to change. You're going to change. But God doesn't change. Oh, God, I, I haven't got the sermon I'm going to preach the sermon next week. Because that's, that's the introduction to it, y'all. Amen? Amen? So he's sitting in here now in a cave. And some of us, when things change, you're going to sit in a cave. Amen? I, I, knew, I knew that big start. Amen? It's different than now. I ain't going to sit in a cave. Amen? Because God is still God. You can, you can do it. You can do it. You can, there's a possibility of doing more now than back then. The numbers may not be as great. Stay with me, y'all. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. So, 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 so God is saying to some of us, amen, some of us, why are you in the cave? The cave of despondency, the cave of, cave of frustration, amen, the cave of discouragement, amen, amen. You, you know, all of us are going to deal with some depression from time to time. Don't think Reverend Hill goes around Reverend Superman every day. Amen. There are days you, you, you don't know what it is on you. Amen. And you got you to gotta know whatever that is on you that, that is not from God. God is not a God of depression. Amen. 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 And, and, one, and here, here, let, let, let me give you a little bit on this now, y'all. You know, I got to hurry up just to see. Because them TV guys, they do it for a half hour, but see, they cut it down. Y'all know I used to do it a good bit, bit, bit more than a half hour because folks sit in here with stuff and ready to get it. Say, amen. You come to church, you ought to come to get something. You ought to come to take something home with you. Amen. Not a real quick thing. You go home and you're the same as you was for 50 years. Amen. You ought to say, oh, I'm coming in here to get me something today. Amen. Let me, let me tell you one of the very first symptoms of depression. Amen. Amen. It, it is the exaggeration of the problem. Amen. Amen. I mean, he, 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 that's what he did. He, he exaggerated uh, 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 the problem, amen? You know, he told Ahab it wasn't going to rain and all that stuff he did to the, to the other guys, you know, and, and now all of a sudden, uh, he, he's in here talking about I don't want to die. Amen? This one woman got him said, I want to die. Just, just take me home. She's after me. Amen? I, 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 I'm going into depression, Amen? And, 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 and so he exaggerated the problem, amen. And, 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 and then uh, he started reevaluating himself. When the problem overwhelms you, you'll start, you'll start put yourself down. You, you see what he said here? Oh, I, I, I'm not, I ain't no better than my father's. His father was idolatrous. Amen? I, I, you know, I ain't no better than my father. Now he's putting himself down. You know, God had made us build ourselves up. Now, some start having, he putting himself down. Amen? Amen? And, and, and the big problem was he was looking inward. Amen? You see, you, you see, when you start looking inward rather than outward and upward, you get ready to mess up. Amen? Are y'all hearing me now? 
Amen. That, that, that's called introspection. Amen. When you get too much looking in, amen, it becomes too much about self. It'll either do one or two things. It'll make you put yourself too far down or pump yourself too far up. Are y'all hearing me? Amen, somebody? Amen. Rather than fix your eyes on Jesus. Amen. The author and finisher of our faith. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. And the next thing, amen, to let you know you're sliding into depression is that you start isolating yourself from people. Amen. Amen. He started pulling back. Amen. He started wanting to stay here. Amen. Amen, somebody? Uh, 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 he don't want to talk to folk. He don't want to be around folk. Amen. And, and, and when, 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 when God came to that and said, what are you, you you're doing here? Elijah, Elijah didn't have no answer. Amen. Amen, somebody? And God is saying that to us. Amen. Well, what, what, what are you doing here? Amen. What do you want me to do for you? Amen. You got to do something for yourself. Amen. And, 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 and so these are, these are the symptoms, amen? And when you start looking down for the reasons, I got right quick here, can I give you a few reasons? There, there's the vulnerability after victory. When you have been rolling and you've been high a long time, you are vulnerable, amen, after victory. Listen, listen. When you think you are sometimes more than you are, or maybe you're just that, I'll give you a good example. How many of y'all watch basketball? Y'all see Golden State the other night? Uh, Steve Kerr at the city. I said, why? I said, I said, why you got the guy sitting down? Got to keep the pedal to the metal. They sitting down resting. I'm glad I didn't keep looking at it. I, you know, because I was working on my son. I was working on this message. I, I cut the, the sounds off every once in a while. I had people over there. You know? And, and so I quit looking. I was working. And the next thing when I saw the scores, them boys had bombed them out of there. And see, you got to watch. See, you fool with a praying God. So, I, I told y'all about, uh, 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 what's, what's the boy's name down there in uh, Florida that I'm so crazy about now? Jenny Buck, I told y'all his story. Homeless at 13 and, and Father Walker, all that. That's why I'm so crazy about it. Well, Al Hoffman, you, you ever hear Al? Whenever Al talks, the first thing he's going to do, he will pray to the Lord. He's deep. I'm crazy. I'm a big Al Hoffman. Al Hoffman started raining. God, God got with him. And though he had never been there, got with him and rained stuff down on Golden State. On Golden State. So they sitting there looking stunned. Amen. Amen. See, you, 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 you can thank yourself too low. You can thank yourself too high when you've been rolling. Amen. Amen. They've been rolling for the longest. Amen. But you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta let that thing work itself out. Amen? Amen? You see, you see, you see, I gotta hurry, y'all. Noah, Noah, y'all remember Noah, don't you? Y'all know, y'all know who Noah is, right? Yeah, you, you know, all them years he was building a boat and they laughed at him. He just kept on building the boat. Just kept on building the boat, talking about it's gonna rain. They said, what is rain? I don't know, but it's gonna rain. You know, they left. he was fine. He was fine. And, and all of a sudden it started raining. And God gave him the first mission of grace is right there when God told him to come into the boat. He come into the boat, his whole family gets saved, they float, they saw the, the whole world wrapped up. And what happened? Next time you see him, he's somewhere drunk. You see what I'm saying? I mean, they're, they're going to be there the highs and the lows. Amen? And, 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 and God know it, y'all. Do y'all hear me? Do y'all hear me? See? You, you're vulnerable after victory. Amen? And, and then another thing, when you keep going, all the stuff he had done, that, that, that took three and a half years, y'all. And, and, and those miles he was going, down to, to, to see that woman, the, the widow that had the mouth, and dealing with her son dying, and come back calling fire, and all that stuff, and then getting the rain, all that stuff. He was tired. After a while, you just get tired. Amen? Amen? You've been running and running and running. You, you know who, who out here, you know, you've been there a long time just running. Amen? Amen? So, so and, he, uh, and, and the next thing is, you know, he was expecting, he wasn't expecting none of this. So, so when we're, when we're, our expectations disappoint us, amen? All of this can get us depressed, amen? Amen, somebody? Amen. I'm just throwing that to real quick now, and y'all need to get this, amen? Amen? Now, now how, do I, how do I kill it? 
How do I cure it? How do I cure it? Amen? The Lord came, amen, to give him rest. The Lord wants you to rest. Y'all got me? The Lord wants you to rest, amen? You, did you find that the Lord didn't rebuke him? The Lord didn't fuss at him? The Lord didn't put him down? He said, what are you doing? He said, well, listen, I'm going to give you some food, first of all. And then I want you to go sleep. Amen? I want you to get some rest. Amen? Uh, I, I, this, this hit me, you know, because I can go and go and go. You know, you gotta, don't, don't get no rest. You've got to get some rest sometimes. You, amen? When you look at, you don't have to go there, but, but when you look at Isaiah 58, it says something. It talks about the Sabbath, uh, about four verses. And what it, what it is, the Lord says, those that honor his Sabbath will ride on high places. In, in other words, he's saying, you honor the Sabbath, amen, you ride on high places, not in the valley of depression. Amen? amen. Now, why am I saying something about the Sabbath? God did all the creation in six days, amen. and then he rested. Do you really think God got tired? No. no. He was putting a principle in for us. See, there are folk who say, well, you know, I'm going to honor the Sabbath day, and I'm going to be praising the Lord, I'm going to be worshiping. The, the Sabbath day was not put in there for worship. The Sabbath day was put in there for rest. Amen. Worship became part of the Sabbath, even in the Bible, between the Old Testament and the New. Amen. When they started the temple worship, they stuck it in there. The entire Old Testament, Sabbath was about resting. Sometimes you got to rest. Amen, somebody? Sometime you got to rest. Amen? We got the capacity to go seven days out of a week all the time. But eventually, it's going to catch up with you. Amen? Amen? It's a day of worship. Amen? Amen? And, 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 and you notice God spoke to him in a still, small voice. Amen? Amen? He, he didn't go with fussing at him. He didn't go screaming at him. Be, be, because God loves us. Amen? I, I, I had a thing I, I taken out of the sermon by Spurgeon, but I won't, I won't bring it on here, how, how God does us. He don't come to, to bully us. He don't come to beat up on us. He don't come to do that. Amen? Because he loves us. And so he came to him, not the way he was used to having God come. He didn't come in a storm. He didn't come in a whirlwind. He didn't come in no, no spectacular way. He came to him in a still, small voice to let him know, where are you? Amen? Because he wanted him to start talking. He wanted him to start looking. He wanted us to look at where we are. When I preach, he wants you to look and see where you are. He don't want you to think you're being put down or, you know, or, you know, or, or whatever. He wants to see where we are. He wants to hear his voice on our situation. Amen? 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 And so he smoked in that still, small voice to let him know, hey, I'm still here with you and I love you. Amen? Amen? So he didn't just prescribe rest. He, he, he prescribed realization. You got to realize. You got to realize um, what's going on. Amen? You got to realize that my ways are not your ways. And so sometimes you got to hear my ways and realize you're not walking in my way. You're walking in your way. Amen? So you got to rest and you got to realize. And then God said, now, when you get through doing that, then I want you to reach out. Amen? Rest, realize, and then reach out. Amen? You're reaching the wrong direction. Amen? You're reaching, your goals are wrong. So, so now, reach out. Amen? I want you to reach out. I want you to go anoint two guys to do some work. Amen? Amen. After you get your rest, I mean, you're not through. Amen. I'm not mad with you. I haven't stopped resting you. I haven't stopped loving you. Amen. But you got to reach out. Amen. You got to reach out. Amen. You got to reach out. Amen. You got to reach out and touch somebody. Amen. Amen. When you're discouraged and down. Amen. Don't get too wrapped up in yourself, but learn to reach out and touch somebody. Amen. Somebody. Amen. Amen. Touch somebody. Amen. Jesus wants to touch you. Amen. Jesus wants to touch us. Amen. Amen. That song, are you shackled uh, with a heavy burden neath a load of 
of care. Let the hands of Jesus touch you. Amen? And, and, and you'll find you'll no longer be the same. Amen? And the same way that song talks about you letting Jesus touch you, it can be the same for somebody that gets your touch. Amen? Amen? When, you, when you're a word and you cannot sleep, they used to say, count your blessings instead of sleep, but touch somebody. Amen? Let somebody know that you care. Amen? Let it stop being all about you. Amen? Let it stop being all about you. Amen? God said, I want you to go and touch these men. Amen? And then I want you to go and get your successor. Amen? You're not getting ready to retire yet, but you ought to be grooming somebody. Amen? Amen? There's a boy down there named Elisha. Amen? And I want you to go down there and put him out. Amen? And I want him to follow you everywhere you go. Amen? That's something you've been doing all this by yourself. Amen? But uh, I mean, I didn't tell you to go get a woman. I told you to go get Elisha and groom him for ministry. Do more work for me. Amen? Do more work for the service. Do more for the kingdom. Amen? Realize it's not about you. It's all about the kingdom. Amen? Seek me first. Amen? The kingdom of God and all its righteousness and everything else will be added to you. Amen? Stop living backwards. Amen? Seeking everything else and putting God last. But when you put him first, when you put the work first, when you cook the, 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 the business first, the dream first, watch what God is going to do. Amen, somebody? Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. So the secret to happiness is taking your eyes off of yourself, putting your eyes on God, putting your eyes on, his, on the work, putting your eyes on His will, and realize that God will never fail. And if God is for you, He's more than the world is against you. And Jesus said, And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. What, 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 what are you doing? Are you drawing folk to the Lord or pushing them away? What are you doing? Is your head lifted up or is it bowed down? Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. He is the King of glory. Give him a hand clap today. Give him a hand clap. Tell the devil I'm coming out of this cave. I'm coming out of this cave. I'm coming out of this cave. Cave of sickness. Cave of doubt. Cave of hunger. Cave of frustration. I'm coming out. And I'm coming up. If I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. So lift him, lift him wherever you are, in a cave, in a hospital, in a dungeon, I don't care where it is, lift the Lord. I don't care where you are, God is there. I don't care how bad it looks, God is there. Victory is yours, victory is yours, healing is yours, deliverance is yours, God is yours. We are more than conquerors. My God, my God. I love the Lord. He heard. Go ahead, go to put 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 where you want, man. Just stop. And he did regrow long as I live. And true. Oh, 
Everybody lift your hands and just say, I love the Lord. He heard my cry. Let's stand on our feet right quick. 